Today's study is in Exodus chapter 31, and it's all about the Sabbath day in this chapter. Now, worship is foundational for all generations, and God is a God of precision. God is positioning His people where they can worship Him, and worship brings change, revelation, perspective, and power to the disciples' life. I'm going to start reading in verse 1 to 6. If you can join me, that's great. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, See, I've called by name, Bitzael, the son of Uri, the son of Hor, the tribe of Judah. And I filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, to design artistic works, to work in gold, in silver, in bronze, in cutting jewels for setting, in carving wood, and to work in all manner of workmanship. And I indeed have appointed with him Apholiab, the son of Ahismach, of the tribe of Dan, and I have put wisdom in the hearts of all the gifted artisans, that they may make all that I have commanded you. Now we just read that God has appointed two men to serve him, filled with the Holy Spirit. And before God calls a person, he equips that person with the spirit of wisdom. And then they are ready to serve God. The call on a person's life will bring impact and change. Now this labor is for worship. God gives him the ability to think thoughts in order to do this work. The Holy Spirit is working through Bitzael and Aholiab. It's a God-given intelligence to do his work. I'm going to continue reading verse 7 to 11. The tabernacle of meeting, the ark of the testimony, and the mercy seat that is on it, and all the furniture of the tabernacle. The table and its utensils, the pure gold lampstand with all its utensils, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils, and the lever and its base, the garments of ministry, the holy garments of Aaron, the priests, and the garments of his sons to minister as priests, and the anointing oil and sweet incense for the holy place, according to all that I have commanded you, they shall do. And like I said, this is all for the purpose of worship. Before we carry on, I'd like to just talk a little bit about the Sabbath day. We see in the New Testament that the Sabbath day is emphasized, and the Sabbath day is still relevant today. The Sabbath still has purpose for the believers. Every day is a day of worship. But the Sabbath day is a day of rest. We are called to sanctify the Sabbath. Six days the Lord made heaven and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested. I'm going to continue in verse 12 to 14. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak also to the children of Israel, saying, Surely my Sabbath you shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am the Lord who sanctifies you. You shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy to you. Every one who profanes, it shall surely be put to death. For whoever does any work on it, that person shall be cut off from among his people. So let's talk about this a little bit. The Sabbath is not a reward for working six days, which some people think. God created Adam and Eve so he could spend Sabbath with them. I'm going to continue reading verse 15 to 17. Work shall be done for six days, but the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day he shall surely be put to death. Therefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. 
It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. So some people still light two candles on the Sabbath day to represent this verse, and that is to keep the Sabbath. Now, all of this is from the mouth of the Lord. God stopped creating to spend the seventh day with us. The Sabbath is a holy time with the Lord our God. Verse 18, And when he had made an end of speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two tablets of the testimony, tablets of stone, written with the finger of God. Thank you for joining me today, and God bless you all until the next time. Music